the adventure continues out in California still just enjoying the nature in order to keep the adventure rolling you do need money and how do you make money on the road well let's find out yeah I could set like a little landing pad because jumping away from a safe job not knowing where you land afterwards is kind of scary but you know if you have an idea of where you could possibly land you know that's not so bad uh, well, if you have a lot of miscellaneous garbage that you want to get rid of, that can also fund your trip. A lot of times when you're on a trip, some everyone will try and sell you everything. They'll say, oh, you'll definitely need this and that. That's one of the things you probably shouldn't do is buy things until you need them because you probably won't need them. And I've got a box full of stuff, you know, upgrading things and just things that you won't be able to uh, use in a car. Taking care of most of it, but you know, just old camera equipment. I've got a gimbal here that never panned out and if you really find that fun you could even turn it into a little side hustle type of business where you uh you take things low you go to the store you find them low and you sell them high but then again you do need to mind uh everything space wise if nothing else not have to pay for a storage unit Does your stuff own you or do you own your stuff type of stuff you know there's plenty of apps where you can do that ebay you know you could be an amazon seller but more easy and they don't have seller fees is something like an offer up or a facebook marketplace offer ups twice as good because you can also sell in person and you can sell shipping maybe don't do the irish quit job yet don't don't leave without notice don't leave with notice maybe your company would like to keep you if you're a valued employee you know and I've heard of dudes coming back on six month leaves, going back to their job and coming back, you know, refreshed, like, oh, wow, I actually like this job again. You know, sometimes uh, absence makes the heart grow fonder of the job. You don't know what you have until you don't have it anymore. And that's a valuable thing to, to the company. You know, it's also grows your independence. Maybe you see other ways the company can be run and that can help the company. That's kind of like the best job to have a company that's actually like human being centered rather than oh you're a robot produced for me Ooh. i don't really want the, the travel to end nor does it have to because there are jobs where you can camp it's called work camping job there's plenty of them around seasonal jobs there's one where uh in south dakota uh, there's a bunch of beet farms beet farms are where most of the sugar is made and when it's ready to harvest they need a lot of people to harvest for like two weeks you get paid pretty good you work every day pretty long hours but you get paid pretty well you know in like two weeks you could make maybe two or three thousand dollars and that could set you off for maybe six months so if you'd like to work a work camping job they pay for your campsite I've seen it all around I haven't done it myself just the times haven't worked out you can also check out a new city maybe you can even attach my second thing this is the thing that I'm doing personally right now if it's a big enough city you can do some of these food delivery things it's personally what I like to do because it kind of ticks all the boxes for me and I want to put out some videos in the future it's kind of an adventure thing because you can both see like new interesting restaurants and different types of food that exist and go inside restaurants I can't afford to go inside but you know I get paid to deliver the food to the people the people pay me really pretty good because you know they're rich you know and I get to go to places I probably wouldn't go anyway if I haven't done it in two or three months and I need to do it again all I do is turn on the app some of the delivery services you have to actually get a schedule you could even deliver amazon packages i got that idea from beakers or i got this whole delivery service thing from my friend up in seattle sensation over there you know we have to factor in gas and wear and tear but i'm in los angeles so lots of people have lots of money here and you can really do it almost infinitely at any time of day there's no shortage of money here as long as you don't mind parking in red zones that is something that is definitely going to happen especially in hollywood but that's what the four ways are it's like hey i'm breaking the law but it's okay yeah i'm using these things doesn't matter i'm about to do a drive by uh hey i've got my flashers on makes it legal but if you don't want to physically work in a location and you don't want to be stuck down to a campsite for several months there are other like remote ways you can do it everything's run on a computer there's a lot of search engine optimization going on seo basically companies will pay you to get their name at the top of a certain search if someone searches hairy man uh, brazilian wax hey this per this person wants their company to show up 
maybe they're based in India. If you are a coder and you work for a place, there's a lot of people that don't need to be in a place, but can just work remotely from anywhere on a certain project. You still work for a person, but you work away. Visiting the coffee shop, sometimes I see virtual call center people. They'll just sit in a coffee shop for like eight hours and talk to people about whatever the company's selling or having a problem with. You are the call center person, but you don't have to be in a call center. You could be anywhere. Virtual tutoring. This person just needs a person to speak English to and learn and talk more fluent, better English or any other language. Since English is kind of like the gold standard, everyone wants to learn it. So you could be a tutor for English people. You could be an English teacher anywhere. I've seen it in Japan. I've seen it in every country, Spain. This is an interesting one. I heard it on a podcast, Mr. Money Mustache type of stuff. Basically, you take a giant chunk of money that you might work for over time and you throw it into an investment, say an index stock, that'll make maybe eight to 10% a year. So if you throw $100,000 into that stock, you can then net $10,000 without doing anything. It is very front end loaded, but you get it. He gets it. There's also other things you can do in the whole YouTube space. You are technically a person that has um, experience in this field that you can share with other people consulting wise or in a book or something like that and uh, basically just like video creators guy does a YouTube channel about making your YouTube channel better he does consulting about how to make your YouTube channel better and he also has a book on how to make your YouTube channel better and he says he can get a 1% conversion rate so if a thousand people watch his video 1% of that will buy his $30 book. So he's kind of monetizing the audience in a way, not just um, relying on the ad revenue, which is okay, but you know, as you've seen multiple ad apocalypse, you can't just rely on that. You have to have lots of eggs in different baskets, you know, it's all up to you. You gotta ask yourself these questions, you know, hmm, should I make a shirt? Should I make a book? What's uniquely me, you know? There's a guy I saw the other day, he drives around and he sells crafts at, uh, he sells little bracelets at music venues. Other ways you could do it is Patreon, baby. I was thinking about starting one, but I don't really have any, any perks. But you know, I, the one thing I have found out with Postmates is people have a lot of disposable income. And if you'd like to maybe help adventures happen and help these videos take place faster, you can maybe help me out with the Patreon. Also, Amazon affiliate links. When I do these tech videos, I can link to the tech piece itself. Amazon has this thing where if you refer somebody to the page, it doesn't cost the person who's buying it anything extra, but it's in their bottom line where they'll give the person like 7% of the purchase price just for bringing the sale to them. So if you want to help the channel in that way, you also can. You know, I figured, oh, who would ever click on my stuff, you know, but I know it's probably a shot in the dark that anyone would want to support me, but I know nobody's going to support me if I don't put the idea out there. So at least there's a glimmering chance. See, there's my glimmering chance. It's on the side of a garbage can. Enough with the self-destruction, you know, I'll just put the chance out there. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I'll just keep on working. I mean, it's not a lot to some people, five, 10 bucks a month is like a quarter of an hour to some people getting $30 an hour, but it's a lot more to me. That's also another thing you can do. A lot of the Hispanics around here actually do that same thing. They're working here, sometimes two, three jobs, then they bring it back to their home country where they can then buy a house. You could do the same thing where like, if you take your money here, you know, if it's a thousand dollars here, it's then worth so much more in India or any of these other countries. And you can then figure out your life in India or Thailand, somewhere else that's a lot less money for your life. Wow, it's really getting gray out there. Beautiful though. <laughs> You know, leave a like, come back, watch some more videos. That's also support, you know. Never click on those ads though. Don't do that. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching these videos after these last couple of months. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go slower. I wanna keep on adventuring, but I do have to make money because I wanna make my way back to New York. 
is my brother's graduating in uh, high school. And my other brother's having another kid. So I want to see that. And I want to see my family again. I only saw them like two days in the last eight months. So could be nice. They only live, uh, they're only that age once. So uh, I don't really super want to miss it. But I also don't want to let it control my life. Yeah, balance, balance type of stuff. That whole balance idea can also be brought into work, you know? Subscribe and stuff, like, live your life.